Because the world is darkness, everything is bondage. 이것을 지금 노예가 아니 요셉이 노예로 팔려가는 그 현장을 통해 보시죠. And so through the story of Joseph being sold as a slave, God is telling us of this reality that we face in the world. 못 참는데 팔려가야 된다니까. Because he has no choice but to be sold as a slave, even though that's not what he wants. If you're living in this world, you have no control. He's sold as a slave. He can't just die and go to heaven just because he wants to. You can't either, right? So when something like that happens in your life, What do you do? You probably do one of two things. Okay, I'm going to do my best and try my best. I'm going to work harder, I'm going to be better than anyone else, and I'm going to do better than anyone else. And that's typical of someone who works very hard. Then what happens? Then you are binding yourself further in the standard of what it means to be a slave. So you try your best, and it's still not going well. Then you keep getting hurt. That's the that's the scar of a slave. You're not supposed to get hurt, but. You know, life is lived in a way that you have no choice but to get hurt. You get hurt by your finances. You get hurt because of other people. Then what happens? Then you get sold off, and then you get taken into prison. <laughs> He tried and worked so hard Why was he wrongly accused and put in prison? Right? Why? You're doing your best, you're trying your best, but people just don't seem to recognize that. And you try so hard to make things work and things still fall apart. What is the scar? Scar is what it means to be held in bondage. As much as you've been hurt through finances, you are that much held in bondage to money. As much as you are hurt by other people, you are going to be held in bondage because of people. Now, what's the nature of a scar or a wound? If you touch it just a little bit, it hurts. So look very carefully at what people are sensitive to in their life. People are most sensitive to their finances. Because that means that they are that hurt by their money. And so everyone is living their life in slavery, in prison, and they don't even recognize that. But what about the people that are successful? This is what it means to pose like a that to be a poser. And those people don't even know what kind of being they are. Do you know why? Because if you are held in bondage, it means that you have a scar. So if you are able to gratify the needs and the demands of that scar, then you become arrogant. Look at me. I made myself successful. Look at how much money I have. So don't be a poser. What about people don't who don't make it? <laughs> <laughs> And 
And so if you don't know this mystery, you just fit in with the mold of the world. And that way of living is what it means to live as a slave and to live in prison. 그게 바로 어둠 속에 살아가는 인생만 모르고 지금 빛이 필요한 이유, 이유, 이유만 모르고 살아가는 겁니다. And that's what it means that we're living in darkness and we don't even know it and we need we are in need of the light but we don't even know that either. 비밀 가시지. 그게 요셉이거든요. But Joseph was someone who had this mystery. 성경이 지금 이걸 말하는 겁니다. And that is what the Bible is telling us. 요셉은 노예 생활을 잘 하고 온게 아니에요. Joseph didn't try to live a good life of slavery. 상처받은 것도 아니에요. But he wasn't hurt by it either. 이 비밀을 주시기를 축복합니다. I bless you to enjoy this mystery of grace. 이걸 모르고 사람들은요. 요셉이 받은 결, 축복, 결과만 붙들려. But people don't even know this part of Joseph's story. All they want from Joseph's story is the result that he had. Why? Because we say, because we realize the gospel too. They presuppose this, and they completely ignore the process of this, and they just want the result of that. And they don't even know that they're being deceived. Do you have this mystery? I said this yesterday. I just enjoy this mystery just a little bit and everything really is in Christ. And there's no pain in that. And your wounds are healed. And you're free from everything. And you are so filled with this sense of freedom. Amen. So live with this mystery. And that is what Joseph is testifying to us. But because we don't know the mystery of this, you and I read Joseph's story in the Bible and all we want from that story is his result. God, would you open the doors of finances that Joseph had? The reason why I should be blessed because I need to do world evangelism. We just stick things where we want to stick them. Those words sound right though, right? And thank God he doesn't fall for our lies. If you, if things actually happened the way that you prayed, you would completely fail. Think about it. Even if you did, man, the, those blessings won't come to you, by the way. But even if they did, would you really use those blessings for world evangelism? Have a good day. <laughs> People don't know what's going on. They're saying, God, if you give it to me, I'll do it. God, you just don't know me well enough. God, why don't you recognize me for who I am? God, please, come on. Follow after me. You're free to think whatever you want. From what I can tell, things not working for you is a blessing. And that's why God is working in us to give